In this tutorial, I'll review Thevenin's theory and apply it to the analysis of this double loop circuit shown above. Thevenin's theory says that you can take any linear circuit and consider the voltage and current at two nodes, A and B, as they affect some external part of the circuit that's not shown. That linear circuit can be shown to have the same impact on the external circuit as the Thevenin equivalent circuit, which is a voltage source in series with a resistor. The voltage source is called the Thevenin voltage, and the resistor is called the Thevenin resistance. This can be summarized by thinking about the following graph. The voltage and current observed at the terminals AB will follow this straight line pattern, and the linear circuit and its Thevenin equivalent will both share the same shape. Notice that this voltage here is the open circuit voltage, which is also the Thevenin voltage. And the slope of this line is minus R Thevenin. The I intersect is I short circuit. The equation for V, applying Ohm's law and KVL is that V is equal to V Thevenin minus I R Thevenin because this voltage is in fact I R Thevenin. Let's take a look at this circuit at, at the top here and it turns out that there's a variety of ways of applying Thevenin's theory to simplify the circuit. The circuit has two sources and resistors, so it's, it's actually a linear circuit everywhere. Let me just show a couple of possibilities and then we'll, we'll pick one. So one, one option would be to split the circuit there and find the Thevenin equivalent of that piece of the circuit. Okay, that's option number one. Option number two would be to split the circuit here remove this 2 ohm resistor and find the Thevenin equivalent of everything else outside. Okay, so another possibility, there's, there's really an, an infinite number. We could think about the circuit, the rest of the circuit as being everything but the 14 volt source and analyze that. I'm going to choose to do the following. I'm going to remove the 4 ohm resistor, find the Thevenin equivalent of the remainder of the circuit, and in the end we'll be able to solve for that current I. So let's go through the steps. The first step is to redraw the circuit with the load. This is now going to be th thought of as the load resistor, the load resistor removed. And to find the Thevenin equivalent we're going to do two things. We're going to look find the V open circuit right here and we will also have to find the equivalent resistance looking into that pair of terminals. Let's start by looking at the equivalent resistance. We turn the sources off. Here's our network. We have the 1 ohm resistor on one side, and on the other side we have a branch, the 2 ohm resistor in the middle, one ohm and three ohm. So the equivalent resistance. is going to be 1 plus 2 in parallel with 4, 1 plus 8 sixths, which is 1 plus 4 thirds, so that's 7 thirds of an ohm. That equivalent resistance is in fact the Thevenin resistance.
That's all for the open circuit voltage. When the circuit is open circuit, that current is zero, so there's no voltage here. This top loop, we have six ohms being driven by 14 volts. So the current, 14 six or seven thirds, which means that that voltage in the open circuit case will be seven thirds times two, 14 thirds. That means we can solve for the open circuit voltage. It is zero plus eight plus 14 thirds, 24 thirds plus 14 thirds is 38 thirds. That is in volts. And so our Thevenin voltage, 38 thirds. Let's just convert this really quickly. This is actually, see if this makes sense, it's 12.67. All right, so that, that's in the ballpark. That's, that's OK. So now we have the Thevenin equivalent, we can go back and solve for the current through the load as follows. Here's our Thevenin equivalent, 7 thirds of an ohm, 38 thirds of a volt. The load resistance, which we had previously removed, we'll put back 4 ohms. current through that device, we can solve now quite simply voltage 38 thirds over the total resistance 7 thirds plus 4, 38 thirds or 19 thirds. The current is exactly 2 amps. That means we can go back to our original circuit and the, the currents and voltages that existed had when we had removed the forums no longer apply. And just clean these, this up a little bit. And so in our original circuit, go back in our original circuit, put this resistor back in. With current two, Now we can solve for voltages and currents in the, in the original circuit. That voltage is going to be 8. The current here is 2, so this voltage will be 2 volts. That means that this total voltage here is 10, which means that this voltage by KVL must be 2 volts, which means that by applying Ohm's law, that current must be 1 apply KCL at that node, that current must be 3, which means now I can solve for voltages. This is going to be 9 volts, and the current's flowing up, so this is actually going to be minus 3 volts, and we're done.